The International Jugglers Association, or IJA, has been around for over 70 years and has been hosting annual conventions and festivals for its members since 1948. In those 73 years, the IJA Festival has become the focal point of juggling in the USA and other parts of the world. One of the things that the IJA Festival is most known for is its competitions. The IJA, apart from being the oldest juggling organization in the world, was the first organization to host annual juggling competitions, and as a result, many refer to them as the IJA Championships. Today I would like to talk about five different acts that won over the audience regardless of how well they did in the competition. Before I start the video, I just wanted to say I now post new content like this every week, so if you're new, be sure to subscribe. It's free. Enjoy the video. Also, before we start, I am aware I haven't been making one video a week because I don't make enough money on Patreon. I've had to spend a lot more of my time working in a warehouse. So if you like these videos and want to see them more frequently, please consider supporting my Patreon. The more supporters I have, the less time I have to work in a warehouse, and the more time I can spend on videos like this. Join my Patreon, get exclusive content! Let's go over a bit of terminology before we begin. The IJA Championships are sectioned into three different categories. Juniors, which is for solo competitors under the age of 18, individuals, which is for solo competitors of 18 years or older, and teams, which is for any group of two or more people. Alright, let's begin. Number 1. Delaney Bayless's 2015 Juniors Routine In 2015, Delaney Bayless took gold in the Juniors category with an incredible display of technique, creativity, character, and set design. The act begins with her propped up vertically asleep on a bed, which is an extension of what she did the year before, where she blended into a wall of flowery patterns. Showing expert control with balls, rings, and clubs, the technical ability shown here by Delaney is not often seen in competition, let alone the juniors competition. That combined with the energetic, quirky, and fun atmosphere of the act secured her gold in 2015. Though these routines are not publicly available online, if you go digging on the IJA easing, you can probably find them. Number 2. Jason Garfield's Individuals Routine from the year 2000 Perhaps one of the most notorious competition acts the IJA has ever seen, Jason Garfield's 2000 Individuals Routine will go down as one of the funniest juggling acts of all time, in my opinion. It includes some of the driest humor and the craziest tricks the IJA had seen up until that point. He starts the act by him coming out and showing his disdain for having to perform, smack-talking the judges, and calmly exclaiming that, I don't even feel like juggling today. You know, there's so much pressure in this competition, and you know, I don't even feel like juggling tonight. <laughs> Though his act went over incredibly well with the audience, his act went nearly seven minutes over time, resulting in him placing second. Yeah! yeah! That pisses me off. <laughs> in modern competitions, being that much overtime can get you disqualified, as the point deductions are so drastic. It's routines like this one that prompted rule changes later down the line. Watching Jason accept his second place medal is equally as enjoyable, as he walks on stage in a full suit, mid-phone call, still fully in character. Number 3. Liu Han's 2015 Individuals Routine from time to time, acts will come to the IJA competitions with such an amazing concept or idea, but unfortunately, they don't place. This is because the IJA's competition point system rewards specific types of routines and juggling. While these routines have great originality, they lack the base technique and skills that most other acts have. An act like Liu Han's is a good example of this. In 2015, he competed with a super cool Tetris-themed act using Tetris-shaped cigar boxes. If you don't know what cigar boxes are, they're a type of juggling prop used by trapping one box in between others and making exchanges. It was super cool to see all the unique tricks possible with such different and special props, but unfortunately, due to lack of tossing and, as the point system calls it, risk, he didn't end up placing. I still, however, continue to hear about this act, and it's no secret as to why so many people liked this one. Number 4. Junpei Nagata's 2019 Individuals Routine 
Junpei is another case of an amazing act that didn't manage to place. He competed the same year I won in 2019, and he competed with one of the most incredible 8-ring isolation routines I've ever seen. It, it probably is. It's probably the most incredible 8-ring isolation routine I've ever seen. If you don't know much about 8-ring isolations, the goal is to create illusions by stably orbiting one ring around another as cleanly as possible. The control he had in his isolations is unmatched in my eyes including a lot of original, unique moves I had never seen anywhere else. This act had some of the craziest, most audible audience responses from any act that year. So, why didn't it place? Well, 8-ring isolation lacks a big factor in the IJA competitive scene, which is risk. If you don't ever let go of any of your props, the points you get for risk go down drastically. And while he did do a couple of throwing tricks, he had a drop or two. Anytime someone asks me about the IJA competitions, I always send them to this video. Easily my favorite 8 ring isolation routine of all time. Number 5. Ivan Passell's 2010 individuals routine. With all his public support, only his coach for the last 25 years, Skipper Jenkins, has loyally stayed by his side. <laughs> Ivan has been assaulted by the press, ridiculed by his peers, and abandoned by his sponsors. The final routine we're talking about today is Ivan Passell's 2010 bronze medal routine. Ivan Passell is one of the most successful comedy jugglers in the USA today, and in 2010, he competed in the IJA's individual category. The act consists of a narrator's voice, himself, and an assistant playing the role of his coach. Usually individuals' competitors never use an assistant, so seeing one used here is a refreshing and interesting way of competing. Ivan plays the role of a washed up, drunken sports athlete who tries to make a comeback in his career, I think. I'm not entirely sure the full narrative that takes place here, but I don't think I needed to. Um, the whole thing involves moments of audience participation, such as when Ivan flicks a signed wristband into the audience. It appears that one lucky fan is getting Ivan's autographed headband. Brilliant! As well as the very comical timing riffing off of the narrator's voice. Also included were some high level and interesting juggling tricks, including a mini routine with three tennis balls and a can. Ultimately, I think this act would have placed a lot higher if it were not for the numerous drops. Even when he did make a mistake, however, it felt like it suited the character, which is a washed up, kind of clumsy dude. Did you see any of these routines live? Any of your favorites that I missed? Feel free to leave them down below and uh, maybe I'll make a part two. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more of what I do, feel free to subscribe. Also, if you're interested in supporting me and getting exclusive video content along the way, check out my Patreon. I just released Dr. Pop, a Patreon exclusive. It's 18 minutes of new juggling from me this year. Definitely worth checking out. Link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.